Hi guys, my name is Tokyo Styles and I specialize in all weave extensions. Anything from custom wigs to custom clip-ins, even your everyday traditional sewing. I've been in the industry now for a decade and I've worked with a lot of your favorite celebs such as Naomi Campbell, Tamar Braxton, Kay Michelle, Tiana Taylor, just to name a few. Today I'm joined by Taylor Ferber who reached out to me via email saying that she was having problems with her custom clip-ins. What issues are you having with these clip-ins extensions? Problem one is they have a mind of their own and they'll just fall out. So you're having an issue with them staying in place? Yes, they have a mind of their own. Like sometimes we'll just be walking to a party okay. and my friends will be like, all right, tell you, your, your, your hair. hair's on the floor. Yeah. First thing, you want to make sure the hair is evenly combed, brushed through. Step number two, you want to section off the areas where you're gonna leave your hair out for the blending. I like to start with a U shape around the crown area. On the top. This is gonna be the most important part of your blend. Okay. Then you wanna leave about two inches of hair out all the way around. You know whose hair I'm obsessed with is, first of all, J-Lo. Oh yeah, she's Woo! amazing. I'm straight and because of that like delicious <laughs> hair, I would literally probably have sex with her. She's perfect. I will too, and yeah. I'm gay. Now, you section the hair off in the back. You can do about an inch or so. Okay. It doesn't have to be much. I would tease the hair okay. right at the root. This is gonna keep the extensions in place. Then what you wanna do, yeah. you open the clips, place them in right above the part. Go in, snap. Just brush that through the blend it. Repeat the same thing going all the way so you get to the top. Now, if you want a fuller look, like that Kim K. Yes, that's what right. I am talking about. <laughs> you can um, add more extensions, which will give you that fuller look. Okay. Or you can tease to create more volume. Yeah. Now, we're getting to the crown area with these last little two pieces. You more so want to fill these in on the sides to give you that more. Okay, okay, okay. Right where you parted, that U part at the crown, uh -huh. at the very front, you want to add it. And this will give you that cool, flawless, oh, yeah. fair faucet oh, type of look once here you start to okay. curl her back. You want to add a little more volume. We're going to start to curl you just a tad yes. bit. Use big pieces if you want that wavy. Yes, yes, you don't wanna be, yes. You can use a big barrel iron. Okay. I like to start curling from the root down. Okay. That gives you that looser wave look. And no hairspray. No, 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 no. like product. You don't want to use hairspray okay. yet, not when you're curling, because that's going to give you that stiff heart. No, no one wants look. that. And we want bouncy. Stiff and hard is good, but not for my hair. <laughs> yet. Brushing this back creates more volume. <gasps> Love them. <gasps> Tokyo. Now I knew I reached out to the right guy. I love. You don't have to worry about this. You're ready to go out and enjoy the rest. Will you of come it? with me? Sure. We can just be like fab Let's and fierce. Go. Let's go. Okay, I'm ready.